Hey, this is Professor Perez again. We're going to continue our work with reducing fractions. And of course, we got to get out our student of the semester, and that's Charlie. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, you ready to go? Yeah. All right, let's get started right there. 32 divided by 12. Now, when you reduce fractions, some of you can do it maybe in one step. Some of you take two steps, or some take three steps. It all depends on whether or not you can find the largest number that divides evenly into both the numerator and denominator. Now, a lot of students just simply start dividing by twos or threes because it's usually very easy to divide by two. I mean, most students have a really easy time dividing by twos. Now, Charlie, we have 32 divided by 12. We know that both the numerator and denominator can be divided by two because they're both even numbers. Now, Charlie, let's divide top and bottom by two. Remember, if you if you divide the top number by 2, you must also divide the bottom number by 2. You can't divide the top number by 2 and the bottom number by 3. You can't do that. I mean, you can do that if you'd like to repeat this class. What? Uh-huh. Okay, anyway, let's divide by 2. Charlie, what's 32 divided by 2? 11. Nope. Oh, wait. Well, most people have an easy time dividing by 2s. 16. I meant 16. Yeah, we know, Charlie. 32 divided by 2 is 16. Six. Very nice there, Charlie. Now, what's 12 divided by 2? 6. 6, right? Okay. Now, again, Charlie, we can divide by 2s. What's 16 divided by 2? 8. And 6 divided by 2? 3 is 3. Now, we have our fraction reduced to its lowest terms. We say the fraction is reduced to its lowest terms because the only number that can divide evenly into both the numerator and denominator is a 1. If you get to that, point, then you say it's reduced to lowest terms. Okay, Charlie, now watch. 32 over 12, notice we divided by a 2 and then again we divided by 2, right? Now what's 2 times 2, Charlie? 4. 4. So we could have did this problem in one step by simply dividing the top of the bottom by a 4. Now it all comes down to knowing your times tables. That's right. Now Charlie, what's 32 divided by 4? 8. 8, because 8 times 4 is 32, right? What's 12 divided by 4? 3. 3, because 3 times 4 is 12. There you go. There's your answer. Let's do another one. All right, Charlie, here we go. 30 divided by 12. Now, once again, Charlie, we're going to divide by 2s because we're too chicken. Okay, we're going to divide by 2. Now, what's 30 divided by 2, Charlie? 15. Okay, and 12 divided by 2? Six, six. So we divided both the top and the bottom by two. Remember, whatever you do to the top, you must do to the bottom. You can multiply numbers to top and bottom, and you can divide numbers to top and bottom. Okay, that's all you can do. Now, a 15 and a 6, Charlie, is 15 divisible by 2? Nope. No, it's not. But we can divide top and the bottom by what number, Charlie? 3. A 3, because 3 divides evenly into both those. And now, what's 15 divided by 3? 5. And 6 divided by 3? 2 is 2. Very nice there, Charlie. Now notice, same problem. We divided by a 2, and then we divided by 3. Now, some of you may be asking, hey, could we have first started off by dividing top and bottom by 3? Yes, you could have. You could have started off and divide top and the bottom by 3. Then you would have to divide the top and the bottom two in, by 2 in your second step. But you'll always end up at 5 halves, no matter how you how you approach this problem. Now notice, we divided by 2 and then divided by 3. Charlie, what's 2 times 3? 6. 6. So that's telling us, hey, we could have did this in one step by dividing top and the bottom by what number, Charlie? 6. A 6. That's right. Now what's 30 divided by 6? 5. That's because 5 times 6 is 30. What's 12 divided by 6, Charlie? 2. Because 2 times 6 is 12. There we go, in one step. Okay, let's do another one. Here we go, Charlie. 56 divided by 16. Don't get scared. This is a tough one. They're both even numbers, so again, we know we can divide by 2. So we'll divide by 2's now. Now be careful. Okay. Charlie, what's 50 divided by 2? 25. 25. So that's your hint. Now, Charlie, if 50 divided by 2 is 25, 56 divided by 2 is what? 28. Very nice there, Charlie, it is. Okay. Now, 16 divided by 2 is 8. 8, that's right, because 8 times 2 is 16. All right, now, again, Charlie, we can divide by 2s. So here we go. What's 28 divided by 2? 14. OK, 
Okay, and eight divided by two? Four. Very nice there, Charlie. Now again, we can divide by two. This is just too good. Anyway, Charlie, what's 14 divided by two? Seven. And four divided by two? Two. Is two. Very nice there, Charlie. So now we have our fraction reduced to lowest terms, seven over two. All right, now, same problem, Charlie. Notice, we divided by a two, and then we divided by a two, and then we divided by two again. Now, what's two times two times two? Eight. It's eight, that's right. So if you very good at your times tables, you may have noticed, hey, both numbers are divisible by eight. Because, Charlie, what's 56 divided by eight? Seven, because seven times eight is 56. And 16 divided by eight? Two. It's two, because two times eight is 16. So remember, you're supposed to be doing these problems without a calculator. This is how you learn your times tables. Because if you're doing this with a calculator, you ain't learning anything but learning how to push buttons, I guess. But anyway, so try these problems without a calculator and then check your answers with your calculator. So, all right, Charlie, here we go. 90 over 15, Charlie. Now, what number divides evenly into a 90 and a 15? Two? Okay, it's a three. A two won't work because 15 does not divide by two. I mean, you can't divide the top number by three and the bottom number by uh, a five, you can do that. Remember, you can do that if you want to repeat the class. Whatever you divide the top number by, you must also divide the bottom by that same number. Don't forget that. So we notice a three divides evenly into both those numbers. Charlie, what's 90 divided by three? 30. And 15 divided by three? Five. Very nice, Charlie. Now, a 30 over five, what number divides evenly into both those? Five. It's a five. Now, what's 30 divided by five? Six. Six, because six times five is 30. What's five divided by five? One. One, because one times five is five. It's obvious. Now, Charlie, what's six divided by one? Six. Six. So this answer is six. Now, we don't really leave our answer as six over one, because six over one, we should all know that the answer is six. Six divided by one is six. So we're going to write our answer as six. Okay, Charlie, 140 over 40, don't get scared. Now, it should be obvious on how to start this problem. Some of you were taught, hey, just cross out the zeros. Well, what does that actually mean when you do that? Let me help you out, Charlie. 140 over 40, both numerator and denominator are divisible by 10, right? And if you divide by 10, basically you lose a zero. So it becomes 14 over 4. That's because 140 divided by 10 is 14, and 40 divided by 10 is four. So some people use a shortcut and just cross out those zeros in the beginning, but you're dividing top and bottom by 10 when you do that. Now, Charlie, 14 divided by four, or 14 over four, or 14 fourths, however you want to say it, what number divides evenly into both a 14 and a four? Two. It's a two, that's right. So 14 over two is what? Seven. Seven. What I mean is 14 divided by two is seven, because seven times two is 14. What's four divided by two, Charlie? 2, 2, because 2 times 2 is 4, and that's that one there. Tough little problem, huh? Okay, now, Charlie, this problem could have been done in one step by dividing top and the bottom by what? 20. 20, right. That would have done it in one step, but you can try that at home. Okay, Charlie, 33 over 121, don't get scared. Now, what number divides evenly into a 33 and a 121? It all comes down to knowing your times tables. What is it, Charlie? 11? It's 11, that's right. Uh -huh. Now, what's 33 divided by 11? 3, because 3 times 11 is 33. Now, what's 121 divided by 11? 11. It's 11, because 11 times 11 is 121. Very nice there, Charlie. So there we go. We're done with that one. That was only one step. There was only one way to do it, and that was it. Here's another one, Charlie. A negative number. Don't get scared. 72 divided by 32, Charlie. What number divides evenly into both of those? 